So today's video is going to be grooming Persian Pussycat Winston. Now Winston's only a baby and he has been to me before and he's back again because underneath he's got under his armpits he's got some nice big mats developing and he's having trouble uh, going to the toilet with Nasty is getting stuck at the back there. So the last time he came, he had a belly, uh, a bum clip, sorry, a sanitary clip. And this time we're going to do a belly clip and the bum clip as well. And just a thorough groom through on the top. Aren't we Wednesday? Isn't he gorgeous? So he's a gorgeous Persian boy. He's a fuss one, aren't you? You're a fuzzy one, you are. Look at those mucky puppy eyes. Hey, look at those eyes. So I'm gonna get started straight off onto the claws. Hey, you good boy. Yeah, let's turn you that way. That's a good boy. So, why don't we start with this one? Just routine, isn't it, Winston? So we push the claws out. So I always say to everyone, get your puss cats used to having the feet played with so that you can push these tootsies out. Okay, wriggler bum. Okay, Mr. Wriggler. And it just makes it easier to get to the claws when you come to claw cutting. And you always go at a 45 degree, <laughs> that doesn't help. 45 degree angle and just give them a snip. Now, if you're frightened, just take the bare minimum off the ends and then just do them a bit more regularly. You don't have to take, you know, huge amounts off. And what you don't want to do is go really short. As you can see here, Winston's there. You can see this is where the blood vessels are coming up to with the quick. So you never want to go up there, otherwise you'll end up with a, cleed, a bleeding claw. So just take the bare minimum off. Good boy. What a boy. Can we have this one while you were there? Hey, can we have this one on this side? So, the difficulty with this port being right handed. So, I'm just going to push that and snip in there with my left hand. Good boy. Quite long, these, Winston. Dew claw. Let's see this dew claw. Where is it? There it is. And never cut if you can't see what you're doing. Which I'm struggling to do there because he's rolled slightly. Because you don't want any little accidents. There we go. And just the end up there. There we go. Good boy. Let's have a little look at the back ones. Not quite as long at the back. But that's because the cats obviously carry a bit more weight on the back. And they do wear them down naturally. Last one. <laughs> Don't be hiding away. Good boy. There you go. And the last one. Come that way for me, boobs. Good boy. And into this one. Oh, thank you, Winston. What a good boy. What a good boy! There you go, that's your tootsies done. Now to start your groom, so we always start up on the head. And we've got the good old molten comb with the two teeth nice and close together, metal comb. 
and uh, I always put the links to these combs underneath in the description box so you can click on those and know that you're going through to the combs that I recommend. There's <laughs> a cute boy. You've grown quite a bit, haven't you, since the last time? So, what do we do? We always start at the bottom here. Lift the fur up, lift the coat up. Just push your head that way, baby. And we go in at the bottom. Get the part line. And in we go. And we're going in. Now that's part of the mat under his armpit there. So I'm going to leave that alone because that's going to be clipped away. And we just go in here. <laughs> Good boy. And we just keep, there we go, so there's a little mat there just coming out. <laughs> Are you looking that way? Yes, look that way for me. Good boy. That's better. There we go. Just a little bit at a time. So that you're happy with that section. And when you're happy that section's got no knots, you can move to the next little section. And we go a little bit further across. I'm going to make sure I don't get that mask because that's been part of his shave that we're going to do. And in we go again. And off we start. Part of that, mister. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Push your head that way. Let him get in. Good lad. And we keep working up and working up. And up to the spine. And that's happy with all that. Are you happy with that, Winston? Hey, next little bit. He's got such a lovely, super soft coat. Good boy. So usually on the top most cats are fine because that's where we all get to groom them nice and easily each day. So this is really the main area to concentrate most cats here and underneath of course but this is the thick end where they all seem to sprout out over the flank so always make sure that you know, you're really concentrating on this end of the cat. And because they lie over onto their sides, it, they do tend to mat a lot here. Good boy. Good boy, Winston. Good boy. Yeah, he's a little fella. <laughs> oh, Winston, you're a good boy. So we're carrying on down here with this flank. So it's just a case of getting it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Good luck. lad and we just go in and we do what we do 
layer upon layer. You're getting a bit wriggly. Mm hmm. Get back that way. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He is pretty good all through here. Once you know there's no knots, give him a. That side's all clear, mister. Come back here. Come back here. Yeah. Good boy. Let's get rid of all that. Let's get rid of that. There you go. All right, so we've got to do the same on the other side. So we're just going to repeat what we've done. Oh, it's going to roll over. Are you just rolling over? Look at you. Look at that, Tommy. Winston. Well, you gorgeous boy. Aren't you? That's what's cuddles, do He does want cuddles. Cuddle monster. Oh no. He says stop the grooming, just do the cuddles. Look at that. One relaxed kitty. Hey, eh? who's this is lovely Tommy? It's very hairy Tommy. Hey, it's going to get shaved, isn't it, in a bit? So I'm just going to repeat exactly what I've done on this side over here. <clears throat> Before oh, he wants to go. Before moving on to um, doing the claw, the, the belly clip and the bum clip. Right, so I've just uh, switched the clippers on a couple of times just to get used to the noise again. Just don't want him jumping with them. And he's had a little sniff. Nothing to be frightened of, Winston, is it? Hey, right then, lovely. So, just rolled him over onto his side there, and we're just going to get this knot away. If we can, and under there. Good boy. Tight this one on him. There we go. That's one quite a big knot formed under the armpit. He's got another one here, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. But what we're going to do just to make life easy. Because he's not keen on mum grooming him. Would you believe it? Look at him. He, but he's not keen on his mum grooming him. I know they can be different when they're at home. So we're just going to take the rest of the belly off for him. Um, and then link it in round the bum. Come on, baby. Let's do a twizzy twizzy. <laughs> twizzy twizzy. Good boy. Good boy. Lad. Yeah, good boy. Oh, you do like tickles under the chin, don't you? Hey, another one that likes tickles under the chin. Okay, let's get that one off. Okay, that's the other one from the other side. That one wasn't quite as big, but it was there. And there's another little one just hiding there. No bother, come on, let me turn this one off. Okay, you've had enough there. Good boy. Let's turn you this way then. Let's have a little change of scenery. Hey. <laughs> oh, you're gorgeous. You're just super cute. Aren't you? Super cutie. 
And let's go roly poly. Roly poly, Winston. Good boy. Okay. Here we go again on this side. Okay. And he's got them there, right on the back of his arm. Literally here. Right underneath, isn't it? So, let's just get a little stretchy. Right, so that's all the mats gone. So I'm just going to carry on down this tummy. All right, what a good boy. Hey, what a good boy you are. Good boy, Winston. What a good boy you are. Yeah. What a good boy. What a good boy lying there, lovely and still. Look at that face. Winston. Hey. Good boy. Because he's only a baby, I am letting him readjust himself on the table and because he's been really good, aren't you? You've been really good boy. Yeah. Lots of fusses. Lots of encouragement. Yeah. Because obviously, you know, things will have an impact on, on him being youngster. We don't want him to have any uh, horrible memories of anything, so we make it all very nice. Nice memories. And then we don't mind coming back, do we, Winston? <laughs> no, we don't. Okay. So, let me have a little look at this potty bot. And uh, here. Yeah. So now, we're just going to clear some of this bum away. Good boy. Good boy. Well done, Wins. What a good boy. So I take a little bit off the underneath of the tail and we do like a little rosette effect around the back end of the bum. Whoa. Good boy, good boy, yes you're a good boy. So I'm just going to carry on, just tidy up the rest of that belly and then it'll be a case of the zoom groom over the top of him, give him a run through with that and do his eyes, clean his eyes out. Well not clean his eyes out, clean either side of his nosey. Give them a good clean, check his ears and he'd be good to go. Well, he's been such a good boy, haven't you, Winston? So we've had a full groom, a belly and a bum trip. We've had the ears washed, well, wiped. They weren't really dirty. We've had the eyes wiped to try and get rid of the muck that was all the residue coming between his nose here. And we're just letting him finish off with uh, what every cat likes. Home under the chin. Hey, is that lovely? Is that just lovely? 
and he is super cutie. Oh, okay. You're a super cutie boots, you are. There you go, so I'll get out of the way. Winston! You look a puppy! Oh, gorgeous boy! <laughs>